Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, today I have another battle box. It's a fairly large box, so I want to come outside, maybe get a better view of this. The sun's shining, uh, but it's uh, it's cold out here. And it's very, very deceiving. I thought it was a really nice day, and it's not. It's actually really windy too. Right now the wind died down, but uh, hopefully it doesn't get too crazy or anything. So, today's uh, EDC at home, because no one's going anywhere, right? Um, this is the, I want to say, Beluga from uh, Best Tech. Just got this in a uh, going gear box. So we're gonna use that to open this. All right, so we're gonna jump right in here. Put this tape at the top, at the bottom. Let's see what we got going on. So, we got a big old plastic container right off the bat. All right, so here is the uh, breakdown. You take a look at that. All right, I'm gonna put that right there so I can reference it. Where do we start? All right, let's start with this big old box. Let's see what this is. It's a Plano box for what the 18 inch tactical pistol case. Okay, <laughs> it'd be really cool if there was a gun in here, but I'm thinking that's not gonna happen. I gotta slip this, I gotta be strategic with my garbage here because I don't want it to blow around. Made in the USA. All right, so we got a really nice gun case. You could put, uh, probably to put two or three pistols in there. All right, stop for a second there because the wind got pretty crazy. Let's put this off to the side so we have some room to see what's going on here. All right, so we have some Breakthrough. Breakthrough is an awesome brand of products. All right, so here is their Battleborn HP Pro Lubricant and Protectant. All right, so. I mean, this bottom comes off of this. It's got it, right? You got to get to the product somehow. There we go. It's actually a cool little package for the, the bottle protected, just so you don't get any leaking or anything like that. And I do like these kind of surgical tips. All right, those very much come in handy. So, yeah, that's cool. I'm a fan of breakthrough products. Make some good stuff. So, put that back. So far, we got kind of a gun theme going on here. Let's put that over here. All right, then we have a propane bottle refill adapter. This is actually really handy, especially for like preppers and stuff. Um, this is basically refilling small propane tanks that you'd use for your camp grills off of large 20 gallon uh, propane tanks, which you would use for your full size grills. All right, so this can really come in handy in like a pinch. I mean, if, I mean, if society breaks down, you're gonna have a lot of problems, right? You know, sourcing propane. It's kind of low on your priority list, to be honest, you know, as far as surviving. Um, but just for the convenience sake, if you do, do a lot of camping and stuff and you have these smaller tanks, let's say you run out of it. Oh no, you're, you're prepping all your gear, you're getting your tent out, all your stuff, your chairs, and oh, let's check propane. Oh no, I'm out of propane. Uh, but the store's closed, or whatever the case may be. If you happen to have a 20 gallon tank, you can fill the smaller ones off of it. So it's actually a really good piece of gear to have. Um, I have um, a hose connection that goes from the uh, 20 gallons to the smaller ones as well. This is just the, the fitting without the hose. Uh, but these are very, very good to have. So let's put that off to the side. Let's see, what is this? Pitbull Tactical, proudly made in the US of A. Universal mag carrier. All right, it's cool. So this is definitely, yeah, this is definitely a gun box. I could dig that. Someone recently said they should put a gun in the battle box. And I, I thought, well, the logistics behind that is it's just not possible. You just can't do it. Um, but you can definitely put gun stuff. So this would be a very exciting box for the gun toting gearhead. But obviously, if you don't have guns or don't have interest in guns, you would not be happy with any of this stuff. But I can kind of go either way, depending on who you are. Pop that. There we go. All right, so we have a universal magazine holder. Pretty cool. Look at that box again. All right. So this will widen depending on the size of, of, uh, of magazine. Let's take a closer look here. All right, so yeah, there's just, this this is a gray area is just rubber. So it literally flexes out to accommodate whatever size magazine you have. And obviously these are pistol magazines, you could, I mean, by overall size. And you have a nice little puck clip, you put it right in the belt. That's pretty cool, I like that. I'll definitely use that, especially, you know, when kind of practicing uh, range time. I'll play around with that for sure. Um, might, depending on how it works and how easy it is to get in and out of the magazines and stuff, I might actually use that to carry a spare mag 
so I can keep my pockets empty. Although, with the newer tactical pants, I don't really have an issue with carrying stuff. There's pockets everywhere. But that is pretty cool. I like that. Let's see. This looks like the knife, which I'm going to save. Because I, like uh, I like to save that sometimes. I don't always do that. Let's see what else we have here. Cat tongue grips, non-abrasive grip tape. All right, so this looks like clear grip tape. That actually feels really nice. It's just rubbery. This feels like, I don't know, something. feels like a bath mat. So that can definitely come in handy. Super strong, durable, self-adhesive. All right, non-abrasive. So I guess it maybe uh, sticks to itself, looks like. Where was that end there? Let's see. Just taped on. I'm trying to see what they mean by self-adhesive. Like there's an adhesive on it or it just sticks to itself. Because there is a rubbery side and there is a completely smooth plastic side. So let me get a closer look at this for a second. Okay, there is a uh, plastic layer in the back so it's sticky. Okay, so there's an adhesive that's on that. And of course you can cut this any size. Seems pretty cool. So, uh, let's see, waterproof, anti-slip, and so on. So just some grip tape. And obviously you can use that any which way you wanted to. Um, let's see what else this is. What is this? Hex Bluetooth speaker and charger. Hybrid solar 400 lumen light and flashlight. All right, cool. I could dig that. I like uh, speakers. Christina's, Christina probably has, I want to say four or five, you know, USB um, charging wireless speakers. This one obviously is integrating, there's a charging cable. This is integrating a flashlight into the deal. So we have a flashlight on the side, which seems pretty cool. Man, some strong gusty wind today. So anyway, this is, like I just said, wireless speaker, but does have uh, flashlight capabilities. Click it once and there's LEDs that go all around the side here. Obviously with the sunlight, it's hard to tell how bright that is. Um, then you click it again and there's a dedicated actual flashlight on the side. This is one of those items that would be very cool for camping. Or if you're just hanging out in your deck or something like that at night, you want to listen to some, some music, you know, maybe you got some tiki torches going or something, but it's still low light. It's nice to have that area light. Or a flashlight, maybe hear a little, little rustle in the bushes or something, you want to see what it is. Who knows? Wireless speakers are awesome. There is a little hanger on the bottom, and it looks like that is solar powered. Let's check to make sure that's what that is. So, rechargeable light with any light source, uh, or use micro USB for rapid charging. So yeah, so it does have a uh, charging solar panel on the back, or you can use the, the cord, so you don't have to worry about uh, rainy days and stuff. Micro SD card reader, that's pretty cool. And 400 lumen LED lantern. So yeah, AM, FM radio, pretty neat. A lot of different stuff in there. I'll definitely be using this. Uh, Christine and I have plans on doing some camping. Uh, Christine is actually researching more tents. We want to get a slightly bigger tent. Um, you know, and obviously, you know, even if society is still kind of crazy uh, during the summer, we can do camping kind of pretty much regardless. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just something that we've really enjoyed last year, especially because of the quarantine and everything. We're just jonesing to get out. And uh, getting out doesn't necessarily mean walking around Walmart. It means getting out in the woods and nature and just appreciating the quiet. Even though it's been super quiet at home, we need fresh air. And camping is very enjoyable for both of us. So something like that would definitely come in handy in the camp scenario. So that leads me to the knife. Uh, Willemson, Copenhagen. I believe we've gotten uh, a blade from this company before. We'll slide out the side there, flip it open. Definitely looking tactical. Limited, uh, lifetime limited warranty. All right, you can read that if you want for the company. Cool patch. Definitely, uh, I like the extras, you know, some people don't really care. I do collect patches, I do collect uh, decals and stuff, so that's always a nice little bonus. We have a spare screw in here. The pocket clip, oh, okay, that's interesting. So the pocket clip is not on the knife. You can add that later if you wanted to. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen a knife presented like this with no pocket clip to be added if you want. Really not a big deal, but there's the hardware. It looks like one screw for that, so make sure we do not lose that. Let's take a look at the knife. All right, put that there. Lots of grip. A lot of grip here. The texture. Oh, it has a pocket clip on it. So, hold on, hold on. I knew that seemed strange. 
So it looks like this has red E on it. And this clip looks to be the same style, but without the laser etching on there. So maybe if you don't like that, you can swap it. That's cool. I don't think it's, I mean, it's um, reversible, but I don't think the design changes. Unlike sometimes when you get a cold steel knife that has a curved clip, obviously if you swap it, it's gonna be curved the wrong way. But this looks like, um, you know, universal for, you can use either one on either side. So yeah, let's open it up. It has a axis style lock there. Ooh, that's actually really comfortable. Choking up like that, that feels really good. Heavy jimping on here, heavy jimping on the top as well. Tons of texture, holding it back here. I have uh, somewhat larger hands. Not too bad, you know, it's comfortable, but this is really comfortable choking up. Getting a little closer on the bottom, you can see uh, it says red E and then D2 for a blade steel. All right, pretty interesting. Very noticeable grip here though. Tons and tons of grip on that pattern. Uh, again, because it's an access lock, you can kind of swing it open and closed. You know, like your little Benchmade flicks and stuff, but you can't really flick it out so easily because this hooks in, all right? You can't really spider flick it, I don't think. Man, maybe, maybe if you practiced. But it's interesting. Don't have a knife quite like this. So yeah, I mean, like I said, choking up it is very, uh, very comfortable there and tons and tons of grip. So it is more on the tactical side of things. I'm curious to see what they charge for that retail. Um, $85. Okay, I mean, that style with the D2, I don't know, I think it's a little pricey for what it is, but hey, I mean, I don't, I don't get to make up the prices, unfortunately. Um, if I were to buy this, I mean, I'd, I'd wanna spend more like 40 or 50 on it, but hey, it is what it is. If you want this knife, it is kind of unique in the design. I'm assuming this is stainless steel, so the frame looks stainless, but there's, I guess, inserts here, uh, which are probably G10. So, I mean, it has a little bit of heft to it because of this metal here. So, I mean, it seems like a very sturdy knife. No blade play or anything. So that's cool. Tons of oil on the blade, which is a good thing for storage. But anyway, yeah, so there you go. There's the Williamson knife. Under the box here, it says the uh, Williamson knife is more than just a tool. It's a lifetime companion of Nordic quality so yeah well, there you go so you got an interesting knife this month we got uh, a little lantern radio which is pretty cool um, the propane thing so we're it's kind of like a mixed box it's in between like a gun box and a camping box so yeah I mean I like all the stuff here it's pretty neat uh, it's not my favorite month the Plano box though will definitely come in handy for transporting uh, stuff to the range if I want to take a couple pistols although I have plenty of pistol bags uh, most of them are smaller, like I have a shooting bag that I bring, and that holds two pistols pretty comfortably with some spare magazines, some spare ammo, um, you know, hearing, eye protection, things like that. It's pretty compact, but, um, you know, if I just want to transport to a friend's house or a family's house, uh, something like that, or if we're shooting a bunch of different guns, this would definitely come in handy. I'll definitely use the, uh, the case for that purpose. Um, like I said, not going to use this all the time, but this is a fantastic thing to have. Again, more on the prepping side of things, although it can be very useful just in camping. If you need to steal a little propane from your regular grill for your, uh, you know, camp tanks. Um, but yeah, pretty neat. Interesting. Just kind of all over the place. Uh, like I said, I mean, it started off like a gun box, then kind of went camping, and then we ended with this uh, unique, you know, tactical knife here. So that's, uh, that's what it is, this month's battle box. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Hopefully the uh, wind noise was not too much. I did cut out the two or three times where it was just blasting. I mean, I had to hold the box. That's how uh, windy it is today, and the trees are swaying. So I was kind of hoping that a branch wouldn't break off and hit me in the head. Although to make a pretty interesting video, um, didn't want to experience it. So I'm glad it didn't happen. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.